Now, Pat doesn't have much to work with here. He's going to get out of the way. Eric has a decision between calling and shoving. He really has a massive draw here. You see, he's 33% to win with just one card remaining. And he does make the call. So let's see if he can catch. There's a look at your leaderboard going into the final table. Vince Pat Quinn out in front, followed by Maxime Aru and David Peters. And our next three players all just a little below 1 million, hanging around the 15 big blind mark. Yep, the Andy's are 10,000. Blinds are 30 at 60. First to act is Derek Afriot now looking down at an interesting ace, eight of hearts. He likes it. It's going to make it 130 total. That's an interesting pink on pink ensemble. <laughs> and Maxime doesn't like his hand. He will go away. Derek Walters with a little suited connector, not even thinking about it. Yeah, I was a little surprised by that. But a lot of players, especially early in a final table when many people are short stacked, are very careful about getting involved in pots. And you see why. Brendan here has about 15 blinds. Mm, he's got ace, jack, and diamonds. Is this that time? On. Boom! Brendan's going to go all in. And that's part of the reason you're a little stuck with hands like 10 9 suited facing a raise. You know, a lot of the guys behind you might go all in over the top as Brendan has here back on Afriot. Now, we've seen Eric numerous times at the World Poker Tour final table, actually four times. He is a tough player, but he's going to go away. Suited. And Brendan Box going to take that one down. Good fold. Well, Vince, I'm not a big fan of showing hands when you're at a table full of professionals. Well, Eric shows it, trying to be Mr. Nice Guy. Right now, he's Mr. Nice Guy, but we know if things turn and he gets some bad beats, he turns into Mr. Bad Guy. Yeah, that's right. Jackal and Hyde with Eric Afriot. All right, we move on. Action's going to Derek Walters. He's going to fold it. Brandon Bach, an American, 29 years old, works in the oil business, Tony. Yeah, I'm not too familiar with Brendan. I wonder if he came up here just for this event, as he's a California guy. All right, around the horn, a lot of folds. David Peters with the little suited connector. This man is some player. David has been on an incredible tear at live poker the last few years. He was somebody that I was battling against online 10 and 12 years ago, and he has transitioned so well to the live arena. Now, Maxime, this guy's Queen Jack. He's already got some money in there. This guy lives five minutes away from playground poker. This site right here loves to play here all the time. So that's why I always see him here. Yeah, and he's calling. And the flop is an ace-king nine, so nothing for Dave Peters. Not much there for Maxime either. He's going to check it. Yeah, nothing for David Peters here, but he's still going to continuation bet and just hope that Maxime hasn't caught enough to continue. Yeah, he bets 120. And Maxime has a little piece here. He has a gut shot straight draw, and he has a backdoor flush draw with that jack of clubs. So he is going to continue, and I would assume if David checks back on the turn, Maxime intends to bluff the river, but now he has a pair. That's right, Maxime hitting jacks. Nothing to be too proud of. He's going to check it, and let's see what Peters does. Well, David has a nothing hand here. No pair, no draw, so he absolutely cannot win at showdown. 450. He's got guts. That's what he's got. He's betting 450 with nothing but six high. David clearly believes that Maxime is calling very wide on the flop. I'm a little surprised to see him bet this turn. But Maxime. It gets very expensive. Peter just keeps pushing. He could have an yeah, ace, he could have a time. king very easily, <laughs> and that's gonna do it. So David Peters putting the pressure on his victim, taking down that pot. Very exciting event. Six players battling for this championship. Action going to Eric Afriet. A quick fold by him. And Maxime with a nothing hand. Can't compete. Now Derek Walters with a king nine. Also won't play. Over to Brendan here on the button. And he's very short. So you see him considering this, but... Queen three offsuit is a really bad hand, so he'll relinquish it. Fake this out there. Looked like he was going to push. Now the pub man, Patrick Quinn, with a miserable looking eight deuce. Speaking of bad hands. <laughs> However, you know, sometimes you just hmm. get sucked in. You see that money on the table, say maybe I can steal it with a raise. That's what he's going to try to do. He makes it 240 to go. 
I would like his raise more if David was one of the short stacks and he was forced into a push or fold decision here, but instead David has enough chips to just call him and take a flop in position, so Patrick building a pot in a situation where that's not what he really wants to happen. Uh, David has a pair of fours, so he's not going anywhere. We're gonna see a flop. Oh man, three of a kind just like that with an eight deuce. Boom, no problem. Pub man looking good. There's no slowing down. He doesn't care that he's huge. He's not gonna try to trap. He's coming out with a stiff bet, it looks like. Looks like a very large bet here. He's firing out about 80 to 90% pot here on a texture that most players only bet a quarter or one third pot. So I wonder in the lead up to this final table, whether David Peters was able to learn about Patrick's bet size tendencies. And a seven, not gonna change anything. Let's see if the pub man changes his strategy. No, he's getting more chips out. Looking like you're strong usually means you're weak, and that's what he's trying to push out there. He's bet over a million with a huge hand. And this is a pretty good board for David's fours, but he also finds it unlikely that Pat in his first major final table is running some crazy wild bluff against the best player at the table, so you see David get away there. Oh, wow, he gets to escape. Maybe too much pressure by the pub man, but there's his family and friends on the rail. Rooting Pat Quinn on as he extends the chip lead to over 7.3 million. Yeah, they have a lot to cheer for in the early goings of this final table. It has been the Patrick Quinn show so far. And we move on to Derek Walters, he's 28 years old, and he's gonna quickly fold a queen jack of diamonds. Yeah, that's a surprising fold, and I think it's because there are two other players who are shorter than him around this table. He's in fourth position, but only has about 13-ish blinds, whereas there are two guys around 10 blinds or less. So you see him being really risk averse here in an attempt to move up the pay ladder. All right. Everyone folding around to Peters. And with just an 8-7 season opportunity, he makes it 180 to go. One of those short stacks is Eric Afriad, who has aces. Wow. Great time to pick him up. He's going to push all his money in. And he only has eight blinds here, so I don't know that David can fold. No shame in folding. Right, guys? There's no shame in folding. You just fold. Keep the karma, keep the karma going. Boom, the Rockets! And he does get the call. Oh, David the doesn't show much at the table, but there was a little smirk Shh. there that told me a lot. Eric Afriat looked good, good with the pair of aces. Show me some pictures. Pictures. And the flops are five, six, three. <laughs> and Eric's face just sunk on that flop. David now with an open-ended straight draw. Peters, I know you're a luck box, but come on, not, not the first time. Come on, keep the picture. Picture. Ten on the turn. Peters doesn't get there. Eric's still out in front with the aces. Okay. It feels like, it feels like it's coming. <laughs> David Peters picture. thinking he's going to get lucky picture. on the river. Will he? No, it's a three on the river. The pair of aces are going to take this down. Play online poker for real cash and prizes at WPT Global. Sign up for free today using bonus code YT26 and get a free entry into a $100,000 guaranteed tournament. A big title at stake, six players remaining. Let's go to the felt. It's on Eric Afriat from Canada, a businessman, tremendous poker player, and he's gonna fold it. Maxi Maru also going away. And now Derek Walters finally getting a quality hand, pair of jacks. And Derek has been very tight in the early goings, seeing whether one of his opponents that's very short gets eliminated before him, but not gonna pass up an opportunity to play pocket jacks. Yeah, makes it 170 to go. Brendan not gonna play it. There's the chip leader, the pub man, Patrick Quinn. And he's also out of here, but Dave Peters with a nice King 10 in the big blind. He will definitely compete, makes this call. So Jack's up against King 10. 
And here we go with the flop. It's a 10-8-5. So Peter's hitting the 10s. Chin flop for Derek. Awful flop for David. And Derek is so short here that it seems very likely that the money goes in on the flop. This is Derek's second final table. He's betting 180. And Peter's might think he's got him well covered. Come on. Yeah, that's the time to do it. He's going to push them all in. Derek looks back down at the over pair. And of course, he makes this call. I like that Derek rechecked his hand mm. because I have seen people I, misread <laughs> their hands and then accidentally play this huge pot, turn over their cards, and be horrified. That's true. That's true. But you have to be over 90 to do that. Seven on the <laughs> turn. That's a nice turn for Derek. David looking for a king or a 10 on the river. Otherwise, he's going to double up. Yeah, he's uh, going to double up Derek here. Queen on the river. Everything going wrong for David Peters early at this final table. Back down to the felt we go. Blinds are 40 and 80. Eric Afriat looks down first at his hand, and he will reject that. Now Maxime Haru. This is his third WPT cash. Total earnings, total of 44,000, so not that successful out here so far on the circuit. Yeah, Maxime is mostly a cash game player. He loves PLO. But we do see him in the Montreal WPTs. I think I've played against him at Borgata as well. Well, he's raised this with his ace queen to 185, and now it's into Brendan, who always takes his time, even when he has a nothing hand. Finally folding into the pub man, who won't play that junk. But Peters has a decent hand, queen jack. So far, pretty much every flop has gone against David here. I half expect to see like a queen, queen, deuce flop the way his final table is going for him, but it's gonna make this call, of course. Take a flop heads up against Maxime. So queen jack up against ace queen. And here we go with the flop of king, king, nine. Well, not much for either player, but David does have a gut shot to the 10, but Maxime still in the lead here with his ace high. It's gonna bet 150. Yeah, Dave Peters with just queen high here. Open to hit a 10, we'll stick around to see the turn. Maxime with ace high, hits his aces. David checks. Yeah, that should end this hand. David pretty short at this stage, still only with a gut shot. And the turn, of course, likely to improve his opponent. Maxime bets out 230,000. I will say, that's a very small bet. So David's getting a great price here, but he doesn't have many outs. I expect him to go away now, but he's reaching for chips. Wow. Huh. He is going to float and try to hit something. He is making the call, going in deeper, but nothing hitting on the river. Deuce of hearts. And Peter's throwing up the white flag, checks it. All in. Maxime says, all in. I'm going to put you all in. Dave Peters should be all out quickly, but he's like in shock. He just can't make anything happen. So you almost want to say, do I get desperate? Do I want to be a hero? That would be a really... Yeah, to make this call, you have to think <laughs> that Maxime is just running a crazy jack high, 10 high bluff. Um... Don't be a hero here. Yeah. Save a dog instead. Don't do it to yourself, David. And finally, he gets the memo. Guys are still 40 and 80. Oh. Let's get and tired. it's on Patrick. He looks down to the 6-5. Pub man doesn't like that. We'll fold it. And now David Peters finally getting the big hand. Pair of aces. But he's hugely short stacked. And all those chips are going in. Let's see if he gets action. David today showing that no matter how well you play, if the deck decides you're not going to win, you're not going to win. But this hand, he might start running it up again. Well, no one's called him. He'd like to get action with aces. And now Brendan has queen jack. This is a close decision for Brendan. He's also fairly short, but this is only a eight-ish blind He's shove. going to do it. Yeah, gets away. So David Peters finally getting a hand, but doesn't get the action he wanted. Now David has barely won any pots at this final table so far. Still looking for his first WPT title. He has titles from circuits and tournaments all over the world, but still searching for that first WPT title feels like it's only a matter of time. 
what a competitor. Okay, a couple mm. folds around to Maxime, also folding. And Derek Walters now with a queen four. 170. Everybody folding before him has induced him to make a raise with the button. He's going to make it 170. Derek has been playing very tight. He is attacking the blinds of the short stack in the small blind and the big stack in the big blind and Pat here with the king jack. I'm not sure how he'll play this. A lot of people would just go all in. I don't know if that's Pat's style. Well, Walters has played very tight so far tonight. I'm all in. Oh, yeah. Not going to slow down Patrick. He's going to push the guy in. Oh, I love this. Really well played by Pat. Turns him into an imposter. Going to lay it down. Pub man looking good right there. Bully, huh? <laughs> There's the pub man's friends in the audience. <laughs> you can tell he, uh, he had a tough pass. Man. <laughs> you can tell he worked hard in his life. You can tell, man. Yeah, in my bars. <laughs> Action to the pub man, Patrick Quinn. Non-professional, out in front. He's got ace jack. Playing very well at his first WPT final table. Making a big raise here, though, 350,000. Dave Peters out. Afriot going to look down at a, whoa, he's got a pair of 10s. Come on. Eric is quite short, so it is go time for yeah. his last nine blinds with pocket tens. Big hand for Eric. Everyone folding around to Brendan. And he has a nothing hand, always takes his time. Finally figures it out, goes out and back on Patrick. Very cool. He is going to call it, so we're going to have a showdown. WPT champion Eric Afriat. Tournament life on the line. Eric's a little nervous here recognizing that he's in a coin flip, but what we know is that two jacks and one ace have been folded. Keep him small. You don't need those chips, you really. And the flop is a queen nine six. Good for the tens. It's good. Eric. Uh, Three of hearts. Enjoying that moment. Pub man disappointed. Going to the turn. And let's take a look. No. Four, four, four are diamonds. WPC champion Eric in good shape. Look how relaxed you are. I have so many cheer. You don't even care. <laughs> uh, Down to the river card. In a club. Just nothing crazy, he's thinking. Will this be the last yes. card? No, he's going to double up there with the seven of spades hits. <laughs> Play online poker for real cash and prizes at WPT Global. Sign up for free today using bonus code YT26 and get a free entry into a $100,000 guaranteed tournament. Okay, we move on. Maxime in first position here with Ace Deuce of Spades is going to raise to 225. Round to Brendan, who is going to squeeze uneventful 9-10. Goes out into the pub man, Patrick, with a king jack. Pat with the button here. He's going to make this call, and this is our two chip leaders getting engaged. And Eric Afriot going to join the party with 9-8 suited in the big blind. We're going to see the flop for the first time here tonight with three players. Who will get lucky? The flop is an ace, deuce, six, two hearts, and two pair for Maxime. Awesome flop for Maxime and a flush draw for Eric here. Pat is the one that will probably get out of the way. Very surprised that Max checked here. Not a big fan of that when you're up against two players. Wow, they all check seven on the turn. No heart there. So now open ended and a flush draw for Eric Afriat. Yeah, wow. But it's gonna check it nevertheless. Hmm. Here goes Maxime. Coming out of the woodwork. And he puts slowly a bet in of 550. Now Pat doesn't have much to work with here. He's going to get out of the way. Eric has a decision between calling and shoving. He really has a massive draw here. You see he's 33% to win with just one card remaining. And wow. he does make the call. So let's see if he can catch. Yep. 
and he does not. A seven on the river pairs the board. Yeah, and that will also slow Maxime down. His aces and deuces have now become aces and sevens with a six. The clothing man's gonna check his nothing hand. Didn't get there. Maxime also checking. Look what I have. And Maxime gonna take this one. Look what I have. I can't hit a card against the guy. He's got Eric Afriat talking to himself. I was gonna show him the turn, but he's gonna be sitting on 200 and something. Yeah. Wow. And as you can see, Maxime Maru out in front with 7.3 million in chips. Max and Pat kind of running away with this right now. Meanwhile, David Peters, who we said was the man to beat, at the top of this final table is down to just three blinds. All right, going to the felt. Man from Arizona, Derek Walters goes out. Brendan Boksch, the oil man from Orange County, California, splits the cards. He's got ace four. And he fakes this out again, goes out. Pub man also folding. And now Peters with Dolly Parton hand nine to five. He's got to push all in with Yeah, it. when you're down to your last three blinds, 9-5 suit's actually not a bad hand to get it in with. You're rarely going to be a favorite against what calls you, but you also won't be that far behind, and you're getting a good price. And as you can see here, David is technically a favorite, and that's because of card removal. We know that an ace has been folded. Good luck, David. David, the good opportunity to double up here if he can improve. Let's go to the flop. Oh, there's a 9 just like that, and two hearts for Dave Peters. Looking good right there. Killer flop for David Peters. Of course, the ace of hearts would give him a flush, and one of the other offsuit aces was already folded, so Maxime down to one out. Yeah, four on the turn doesn't help Maxime, so the man from Toledo, Ohio, David Peters, looking pretty good to double up here. And it's gonna happen, eight of diamonds. Loves poker, he says poker's the only job he's ever had. And he's made over 23 million earned in poker. That is online and live combined. But things haven't gone that well for him tonight so far. No, it's been a number of setbacks for David Peters thus far. That was one of the first pots that he actually won today. And we move on. Brendan does the usual split of the cards, fake out. Speaking of, I'm not sure we've seen Brendan play a hand yet. <laughs> not many. Tough to get the oil man in a pot, but right now Eric Afriat. Eric only has about 11 or 12 blinds here. A lot of players choose to just go all in with an ace on the button when they're that short. I like that Eric's raising small though because there are some really short stacks around this table. It's kind of close for him. Uh-oh, Maxime though with an ace 10 suited in the small blind. He is gonna make some noise. Checking out the stack of Derek Walter and says, I'm all in. Yep, Walters gets out of the way, and back on Afriat. This guy is a machine, man. Never seen a poker play like that in my life. 30 years. Sorry. Yeah, and the action clock is ticking down on him. He's gonna have to use a time bank chip in about one second. You're a lug box. There it is. Time bank chip automatically comes into play. And he's going to make a good lay down there. Yeah, he makes a good lay down. I'm, again, not a big fan of his show. This guy's like a this is like told him he's an insect, this guy. He's an insect. Valuable information he's giving away for free. Well, he's a non-professional, but he's made a lot of money in the game. He's a charming guy until things like that happen. <laughs> That's absolutely right. <laughs> Okay, David Peters with King Queen suited here first to act. Of course, he is all in for his last seven blinds. Let's see if David will get some action with this. Derek Walter's not gonna play. Brendan, he'll do his slow roll here. And again, Brendan <laughs> facing a shove with a fairly good hand in the blinds. Does the same thing every yeah. time. Then he folds it. Good luck, brother. All right, and now the pump man wakes up with Ace Jack, though, and he has made the call. Getting the right price. He is a small favorite over David. This is essentially a coin flip, but David does need to improve to stay alive. Otherwise, he's going to be our sixth place finisher. Yeah, David Peters, a great player. 
Oh no, a flop of an A7-6, not good for Peters. Patrick hitting the aces just like that. Yeah, awesome flop for Pat. You see there, David now just 7%. Oh, okay. Whoa. Four flush now for Peters, there's yeah. some hope. Gotta be a sweat. Yeah. Always, man, always. <laughs> Will he get the heart? Here we go. Wow, and just like that, with the 10 of clubs on the river, David Peters is eliminated in sixth place. I said he was the man to beat tonight, but unfortunately just Good could not you. find a hand to get some chips with Vince. One of the great poker players in the game, $18 million in earnings, but tonight he's gonna take home 78,000 Canadian. Let's talk to him. Uh, very disappointed. Uh, it was a, certainly a rough day. Maybe made a mistake or two, I'm not sure, but nothing went right.